we kicked out any casters. The US game still got the old cast casting team doing their stuff. Oh yeah, I gotta do my overlay in a Am I still alive? What's happening here? Yes, freaking finally. Looks like I got a co-caster. How can it be so difficult to just enable open mic for, like, for team chat? That's all you gotta Sorry, do I to talk you, during man. the... What? I can't hear you, man. I'm just kidding. Oh, for fuck. Off to a great start, it seems. I know. So, what do you so think? Based on the drafts, drafts, who do you think will win this game? Oh, ex you know what? <laughs> we have, like, the exact same brain. Well, honestly, honestly that's pretty think much the first question. It's gonna be Nova's game your... here. God damn it, Joe. <laughs> I think it's gonna be Nova's game here because you'll have the Stannin Master S. He's he's more of a passive support player. He's gonna take like the back lines and he's gonna try to have the least amount of death. Well, this Nova team is gonna run and just literally just rampage at you, man. So I think it'll be Nova's game here for sure. Well, to be honest, Nova are under a lot of pressure because Cloud or Danish Bears, whatever they're called nowadays, they got the. They got the greedier lineup. If it goes to late game, then a single Chronosphere could wipe an entire team with Invoker. Like Invoker, Warlock, Nix Assassin's Mana Burn, all in a Chronosphere. That could be a team wipe if you land a good Chrono. So Nova really got to run over Danish Bears and make sure to get value out of the Science Ultimate. If they even fail to do that a single time, then they could be in a lot of danger. Well, shocking to me is the like the greediness of Cloud Nine's or Danish Bears draft here. You have the I thought for sure the Void was gonna go safe lane, but it's actually going off lane. And I've actually never seen like often um, Eric's or Seven Four Seven's Invoker here. He's much more of a cop or Lena player in my opinion, but I guess because Lena got nerfed. I mean, 747 used to spam Invoker back in the days when Invoker was still one of those heroes that was always banned in the first phase, or, ne or nearly always, and um, I know he has some major skill on the hero. I'm, ca I'm kind of glad we got to see this, actually. I'm just... I don't know. This is really a game... This is really one of those games which is determined by the laning stage, I think, because both teams are so greedy, the team who first initiates a good team fight and wins it is going to have a huge edge and it's going to be really hard to come back from it. It's going to be a dual lane here. Well, I mean, the thing is Troll Warlord is really weak when it comes to mid laning and early early on, just because you can't really poke as hard as other heroes can. I mean, Invoker can That's really bully you out of lane. So he needs the support, and... Danish Bears, they're not gonna hesitate and rotate one of their own over to make sure that 747, who is one of the... who is, like, one of the major tools, like I said, in the draft, with the Chronosphere, he has so much synergy that he needs support right now. The bot lane should be fine anyways. Sven is pretty tanky, Sand King is not that much of a threat. Like, yes, Sand King is going to get a pretty decent timing on his Blink Dagger, but... I think that's manageable. Stun coming in to the SK, don't think they're going for it. It's just a normal harass stun. He does have the Mango. And what I don't like is this Lester getting too much farm here. Well, Same goes for, goes I don't for know. Void, huh? Like I called during the draft already, Lifesteer isn't that scary if you have an invoker who just goes for a value deafening blast early on. Like, if you have a deafening blast in the first team fight, then Lifesteer can be mitigated extremely well. The troll ward is far more dangerous because 
If he gets, like, if Troll Warlord gets to a target, he's gonna stun lock that target. Lifesteal relies on healing himself by attacking, so if you prevent him from attacking once he drops low health, he's not gonna be able to do anything. He's just gonna drop. As for the Troll Warlord, if you disable him, a per like, one person, the person he was trying to kill, is still stunned, so he's just gonna walk away, reposition himself in a safe position, and wait for the disarm to be over, so... I don't know, that's kind of my read on the situation here. And Hestajo could be going down here if Jakiro lands an ice path, but no. He doesn't have it on. Yet. Oh! The first skill coming in with the combo and with the first kill, but he's not gonna die for sure. No, he has large tango, like... One life steal hit would and have done it, armor. I think, though. Oh, stun coming into the event. Don't think they can kill this event, huh? Stun the first no, skill up and Marlon's coming in to the aid. I mean... Not only is Sven incredibly hard to kill with his crap ton of early armor and movement speed as well from the Warcry. On level w on level 1 it's already 5 bonus armor so it's pretty ridiculous early on. But even if they end up committing a lot for him, Warlock could turn the tides really quickly with the Fatal Bonds. Because if one of the two starts taking tower shots, Fatal Bonds is such a good skill. And Hestajo now trading with the Jakiro. That's not going to be the best of deals, but... I don't know. Time is money. Then just have three people rotating over bottom here. They might have... They're gonna, gonna make... They might actually make the setup here onto the Sun King. But... The Sun King's one of who is actually just showing near the tower. Yeah, I see for sure. The thing is, even if, like the thing is, even if the rotation doesn't find any kills, you still can make stacks. Like Warlock can go make stacks. Nick Assassin, who needs the experience more, can snatch some experience from the lane and help Sven get lasted. But they're actually gonna go for a kill now that Sand King. Okay. I am <laughs> really sure he's dead now. The Mango is gonna pop to use his first skill. Why did he pop that Mango? But damage coming in. Sunshine's gonna gonna miss, and he should die here. First blood for the Warlock. Beautiful play there. What a waste of a perfectly good mango, man. I know, he had mana. He had enough mana for his stun as well. God dang it. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves, just like seeing someone waste their fairy fire or their mango. Even if I use it, like, to waste it. Like, oh my god, so triggered. Yeah, I mean, with Fairy Fire it's not that big, because Fairy Fire isn't that useful once you get at a stage where you have a decent deal of damage. Like, two damage doesn't really matter, one region does, you know? Like, Did especially you see before that attacking the... stun? Yeah, he I stunned, think... like, to the flag, and it hit no one, it, no creeps were near there, wow. Like, honestly, I think Sand King is tilting a little bit. I mean, he's up against a pretty hard lane, Sven is really scary if he farms, so... I can't really blame him for it, but it really looks like he's just... <laughs> no, he just cucked the Sanking, dude. He, he stunned the Sanking left, and then he took the rune. What a savage. I'll take your tribute. Rotation coming over to... Uh, has Joe, I'm... I think it's dead? Yeah, kill coming in for Space CD Silencer. I can missed uh, that one, one, one. Yeah, score evened out now. Nova got an ever so slight gold advantage. But I don't know, it's really... I'm actually gonna switch over to the gold... to the gold comparison on the side and... This is looking really good for Nova right now, if you look at the gold distribution. I mean... Zitrax on the Dude, this life is gonna get an early Midas. He's he's fa farming so fast. He should not have to like. Yeah, all this is like the right this. call. This is like this Midas is the right call for sure, because.
like I said before, he's not gonna be useful if he just runs at somebody, gets disarmed by the invoker, or even gets stunned up by like Void bashing at him, or I don't know, Chronosphere could even be committed. There's a crap ton of armor, there's a crap ton of crowd control in general, meanwhile on the mid lane 747 went down to the troll. I told you man, they're gonna just run down there and go on a rampage. This is what Nova plays and the fact that Mazarisk has no TPs from the early like stages of the game and he can't rotate over, should have saved mid. He's he's a he's a passive player, he's like he depends on what other people play, but then he just sits back and like play passive, it doesn't die. That's what he plays. And it just literally is a bad counter to this rampaging playstyle that Nova is playing right now and Hesinger is gonna trade with the Jakiro, it's not gonna do much, but damage has been done. Oh, Sven popping the ult? Is he trying to kill the Sand King? I think he has the mag. Oh, what? Alright. He Sand King decided is not to kill that and he's gonna go for the Seltzer instead. Is he going to die? He has the mag. Oh, is he gonna pop it? What? Why don't you. Oh my god, dude. He didn't even have to mango there. He had, mango. He had war cry, like... Yeah, he had the mango, He could have just it? used war cry and ran at him. Like, Mango's stuns is even too much committed in my opinion. He could have just... He could have just ran under the tower with the war cry, to be honest. Like... It's plus 5 armor, plus 12% movement speed. It's all you need for that dive, really. It was not like they were far enough away for the stun to really... Forced out there. Meanwhile, Jakiro is gonna go down to a Sunstrike from 7 for 7. I mean, right like, he could have killed both the Sand King and the Sunster if he just used Warcry, or, or even the like, Sun is overkill, but still. A kill is better than nothing, and you only pop a mango and you get like, what, 200 of French gold in return? I, I, that's very worth it. You'll get a feed and the after that. experience as well, like. As a Sven, you really want to snowball at this point. Like, this is where you start to snowball once you take, once you take points of the cleave and once you got the Mask of Madness. So, experience really starts to matter now as well. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And now this game is looking really good for Nova. Danish Bears, they got the Chronosphere, of course, which can potentially turn around the entire game with one good Chrono, but... Oh, coming into the middle side, four people committed, and it's gonna just the show ult, and yeah, 747 dead. Sorry, it's too late on CP. That was a bit of an overkill, even. I really like Spacey's positioning, though, on a silencer. That guy is on point, six intelligence stolen. Like, yeah, three kills, six intelligence stolen, that's how it's supposed to be, man. I think it's actually worth though, like, they committed all those spells, but you're denying, like, the farm of the invoker. He's gonna get, like, I wanna say, uh, 11, 30 second Midas on the invoker. You can, you, you wanna deny as much farm as you want on the invoker. If he does get an early Midas, it's basically like GG, and if the game's, like, is balanced and all things like that, he has still a lot of control, just farm all game, and then have his Aghanim's Lincolns or whatever, and just really just, like, wreck everyone. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, especially if we look at the win condition here for... Like, the win condition for Team Danish Bears is kind of to get a... Right now, to get a big Chronosphere, and then, like, dump a Meteor in there. Meteor and, I don't know, all kinds of Invoker damage. And if Invoker doesn't have enough damage to finish anybody off in the Chronosphere, one of the biggest spells is just gonna be... kind of useless, so... If you shut down the invoker, all you need to do is make sure that one of your cores is able to man fight Sven, which Troll Warded is at nearly any stage of the game. He's got a he's got a Vladimir, so he can man fight Sven right now. Did you see the silencer ulti though? Yeah, I think it was actually a good call there to be honest. Yeah, I was gonna ask if it's a good or a bad call because in my opinion it was pretty nice. Uh the void couldn't use the chronosphere. Like it denies the chronosphere, they were in chronosphere range, so Saving any life at all, especially to a Void who... If Void gets like a Blink Dagger to position those Chronospheres, it gets scary again. Because the Chronosphere is so important this game. Like, the Chronosphere in combination with Invoker. If you can shut down either part of that by denying a good Chronosphere or by denying Invoker all of the experience gain he relies on so heavily, then you're pretty much safe. 
And Lifesteal is early Midas. I really love that itemization choice as well, because Lifesteal knows he's not going to be the main core for the like first, I don't know, 30 minutes. Troll's going to do all the heavy lifting until Lifesteal becomes like, I don't know, 3 slotted, I'd say. Oh god, Invoke went down again. I think it's a fine trade in Voker for the uh, tier 1 tower at the bottom. I mean, Voker's gonna get his Midas. He does have his Midas now. Yeah, it's mostly Master about is... denying Invoke experience. You delayed his, you delayed his Midas timing by like about two, yeah, about 2 minutes. And then you kill him off again, so he can't even get lane experience. Meanwhile, Troll Warlord... Looking for farm everywhere he can. And it looks like Hester Joe is actually going to opt for m for the Mask of Madness here instead of going early Blink Dagger. Or maybe he's just gonna go Morbid Mask. Uh, not Morbid Mask, Flats. Do do I don't farm know, what do you Morbid think? Mask, that's for sure. It's sad how yeah, the Psyching but... isn't getting that much. We should have Flame right now, in my opinion. But now he has should all the lanes himself. Have more items at this point. Well, honestly, it's not that big of a deal because... Oh boy, they smoke Did and you then... see that smoke? What? Ace is in trouble. The they were out of vision, is, is committed nice. And he's gonna die. The ult coming in again. So this Void couldn't chrono. That's pretty, pretty, like... How like, do you, like, see, see though, and like... they immediately... Yeah, like, dude. that's such a good call. That's such a good call, though. Yeah, man. The same like, exact brain. Dude. That is, is so good, nice holy shit. crap. At mid lane, oh dude, they are dominating Danish bears right now. I told you, man, they play this rampaging style, and then you have masters just playing like so passive. It's nowhere near the fight, it's just at top for some reason. And he's just trying not to die, hiding in the back line, is what I'm like saying. Uh, Invoker's gonna push top though. But honestly, with a warlock, you can't really do much on the front lines. Like, yeah, you're gonna do a really slow heal, like here. You're gonna be healed by 300 in the next half an hour or so. Like, I don't know, I like playing a defensive Warlock, actually. I mean, the main point for you is to, like, stay behind your team, not, like... He was wandering around uh, and Asians and stuff. And, like, your ult is used for specifically for counter-initiation or, like, so... Ooh, ooh, this Warlord. Okay, there's the first turn of the game, Sunstrike is gonna land? Is he going to die? He's gonna die for sure. I'm they finally get a and... Chrono off. I mean, I've been talking about the that for the last couple of world, minutes. Dude. Yeah. It's a too many cooldown. Like, I mean, that was actually a really good call from Danish Bears. They were like, okay, every time we let Nova initiate, they're gonna wait for the science ultimate. So we're not gonna be able to chrono them, so we need to just dive in their territory here and get off any chrono at all. But the thing about the Warlock is, to be honest, I really like his passive style of sitting back and stuff. I just think he's doing it to, to like, help the Sven who doesn't need any help. If he had done... If he would, like, stay back in the mid lane instead of staying back at the bottom lane, if you know what I mean, then 747 would have had so much more of a good game. Yep. I mean, Warlock is so I'm good. I'm surprised that like Nova is playing so good against like I want to say a really good team. He they almost qualify for TI. I mean, even with one stun and don't think it matters that seems like it's like that much. But they're doing a really good job here. Midsar is gonna get denied. That's that's it's already done. And Schultz is just gonna free like, farm top, ripping off the jungle. How far did Nova get in the TI in the TI qualifiers actually? Oh, they they weren't signed. They they haven't signed a roster, I don't think, in TI. But like their normal team, I think it went to like top four or something. In my opinion. 
Like, to my knowledge, I mean. Damn. Sucking has the blink now. That was about time, Next, actually. Like... Infested in it. Yeah, that's a Okay, they're gonna go for a big blink timing. reveal. But Noya. Nyx is in this here. And Sen can get spoiled out. I think they can make the call that this is an infest bomb. Four heroes rotating bottom. Almost five. Um, oh god, still there we go. Attacking. Ooh, Sen's gonna land. Is this a bait though? I'm telling Ooh, you, they knew it was an sounds popped. Holy shit, they still put that off? And Sen is gonna really shit for some reason. He's just gonna die, dude. That was a bad episode. And Talos, well, to be honest, uh, you were dead anyway. Trying to run away. Never hear the end of this. Oh, that was like, like that coronation from Warlock was actually a pretty good one. Without that, they wouldn't like, they would have gotten more for that sinking of ultimate for sure. But just died. I mean, I'm pretty certain because of that big rotation, they knew it wasn't a fast bomb. You wouldn't have committed three heroes Indeed. to that fight if you didn't suspect Livesteer being in there. But now the game is actually evened out again, so... Pretty much anything can happen. We're gonna see Troll, Troll Warlord just go for a Roche kill. Meanwhile, Noya in, in a lot of trouble. Prozor got committed, again. Sunstrike dropped down. Spacey is in trouble here, Sven's trying to catch him, he's gonna, no, you're gonna go catch down. him. Spacey, what are you doing my man? Stun coming in, but that's gonna, not gonna, that's not gonna do much here. Um, it's long is still there, but no matter. And Blink is in I mean, down. that was a really good fight from Danish Bears, the way they wrote it in there from this way, like... This was the safest way to try and secure the Roche here. Or at least prevent Nova from taking Roche. And in the end, it didn't quite work out as well because the Chronosphere didn't take any high value targets. But you still trade 2 for 1, so at least you're gonna mitigate the Roche Gold Punch, I guess. They could have the Chrono when just outside the pit. They didn't know they were Roaching, I feel. You see it sanking outside. They knew it, man. They knew it. It was like far off a reach. Really? But they were, Sanky was like, oh, here, which, like, he chased here. Well, no one went inside the Roche pit, which they should be in. The sounds was late. Don't think they actually knew. They actually couldn't hear Well, to be the, honest, the, I think... No way. Like, I'm pretty certain they thought it was, like... I'm pretty certain they knew there was something around the Roche pit, because otherwise you wouldn't commit that much for a Sand King. If, if you see a single Sand King in the river, why would you commit three heroes for it if you don't know that there's like more to it? If you see a single Sand King in the river, you're not gonna commit three there heroes. Two Unless they here, thought Lifesteer like, was in there. If they thought there was Rogin, there's no way they would commit Chrono. They would commit Chrono here, I feel, right? Or it is a Sand King though. Maybe you were right, but Space is gonna die again. Out of position again. And Ooh. we're gonna so see gonna Ace just chop the down Loki's. That's sad, dude. Ace is getting so slayer. much now. It's a Ven the Dragon like, Slayer. Honestly, I think what Danish Bears thought was that, like, Nova was grouping up here to prepare for the Roche, like, up here near the shrine. That they wanted to go Roche, and that Sand mm -hmm. King was already placing a ward so they could safely Roche, and that they kind of want to intercept Sand King to make sure they weren't Roaching. Like, oh, that's my read on the situation. Still, they didn't know they were in the Roche pit. That's why I said you would have committed a Chrono outside if you knew that they were Roaching here. That's what I meant. Yeah, but on the other hand, you wouldn't have committed that. That's, the that's, why, like, that's why I'm saying, I think uh, I think Danish Bears thought like Nova was here, sitting here waiting for a good opportunity to go in the pit. If fast swap's gonna drop, ooh, the counter initiation, initiation chrono and the stun gonna come counter counter hero, initiation now. This is gonna do anything in the counter initiation from the warlock. Everyone's gonna drop down here. Everyone's slow. That's is he gonna get a decent uh, trade for Nova still right trouble. now? And now we're gonna see the troll ooh. war finally start to do some damage. I thought this was gonna go bad for Nova, but then they actually turned it around with the Warlock. That's 
I'm in the warlord. Counter counter initiation, man. Counter counter but... counter counter initiation, dude. Ah, uh, that reminds me of Seven. Dota reporter. Dota two reporter. Ooh, spacey. Does he know? Does he know? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That was god. so bad, dude. Unlucky stun coming in. It's not gonna do much, is it? <laughs> this is gonna be gonna brutal. bash him. <laughs> I know, dude. That was so unlucky. I placed the ward here, but then the tree didn't get him. He was like standing here. And not like on the other tree side, like not on here. Damn, dude. I mean, honestly, that's why you don't place the ward here while that tower is still standing. I mean, if you plan to push that tier 2, you put the ward up here on the high ground. And then after you push down the tier 2, then you place the ward up there, because then it's actually a risk to walk around like this. And I mean... Oh, Spasarix is dead. He is dead first. Sure. Yeah, that's... Oh, nice. Alright. It's not an even game. But in late game, I'm sure that Danish Virus will, like, will like own the heck out of Nova. Push is still coming in. They're not scared of the Invoker at all, huh? I mean, it's not so much about them being scared. It's more of the pressure, like... Nova, they need... I mean, they're pretty certain that they need to finish this game before, like, the 40-minute mark. So anything you can get, you might take a risk for, because even if you lose, like, a support while retreating or even your offlaner, it's fine if you get a tower out of it. It's always worth. They're gonna get top tower again, and so 1k gold lead onto the their side. And did they see the seven? Seven still hiding, yes, the alt already. Ooh, they might be but potting now there's five here. people Dude. top. Do they know that seven's there? Are they baiting here? Ooh. No, oh, I think Lifestar well, might be dead. I don't think. He's now they know. Dead. No, actually, that was no Wait, vision. What? what? No, I'm. No, I'm sure you should. You could have seen him. Seen him. Oh, Lifestar! Nice like, <laughs> he put on player, the rage dude. just both, as a safety measure, and it players. saves his ass. I mean, this Ooh. is just. See, they they knew. Look, they know that Sven's there. They're they're still plotting this. I think they can kill him. Can no they bashes, though? Alright, stun's gonna come in from Jakiro. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. Ace is gonna yeah. drop down for sure now. Mm. That's a clean kill. Bash and Spacey in getting even more int. Mm, delicious, delicious silencer int. And Fastball coming into the bottom line, and 747 is gonna drop. Two cores, like the two most important cores are dead here. And in short, then 30 seconds. Under 30 seconds, I mean. Yeah, this is what just a really disciplined aggression from Nova. They know exactly when to grow, go aggressive and when not to. That's uh, that's pretty much how you play aggressive. If you know you're a team which wants to like run over the enemy, then you know exactly how you like. Then you need to know exactly how you punish enemy cores for split pushing and stuff. Because otherwise, you're gonna get punished yourself for the aggression. And I'm actually gonna take a look at the items now that the game is quiet. Um, Lifesteer is opting for an Assault Curse now. He already got a Heaven's Halberd. He got a Desolator. Looking pretty good. Troll Warrant went for the Blink Dagger into BKB now, so... And the BKB. He's he can't die turning he can into like a Raid Boss. Mm -hmm. Double I damage mean, just to spice things up. I mean, I don't know. The thing about Troll is, look at his, look at his follow-up items. He's gonna go for the for the diffusal blade into Scotty. That's actually huge. This man knows how to play Troll properly. Soundstrike's not gonna hit. That's very unlucky. But both players, both sports are gonna die here for sure. Why? That the ooh the counter initiation though and it's gonna get the void that was and the assassin. 
I they thought they were gonna, to like... Get... Oh, dude. They're that gonna get a blow like... for this. Is he? Oh, the rock drops. The gonna start feet. People? What's happening here? And like, not hit again. I mean, and the Heaven's the Velvet is... already paid off for Life Stealer. That's gonna yeah, be that kind of dude. Holy crap. Life Stealer's up here. It's gonna be a 4 for 1. Oh god, there we go. And, I mean... <sighs> That was perfect. I think a lot of that fight. So good. Like, a lot of that has to be attributed to Spacey here. There was just a little bit of cooldown left on his ultimate, so. He knew he was dead, and instead of running back to his team to try and save his life, he actually juked them away. He just made sure to stay alive long enough to get the ultimate off and then just die. That was completely. Did that really safe, happen? Yeah. What a player, he dude. I, I gotta to, get like, it to his team. Like, I mean, yeah, Lifestealer is huge, Lifestealer is a big raid boss, but if if Lifestealer doesn't get a good initiation or a good chance to initiate, he's just gonna get kited. That's the drawback of Lifestealer, so this one's completely up to Spacey. That was just freaking beautiful, man. And oh, Nova there, now at a 6k again. lead. Yes, I see that play. We really need a replay mechanic on the cup, like, just a secondary desktop running with the replay that... Actually, it's not that hard to set up. I think if I get my pay... like, once I get my paycheck for this season, I'm gonna buy some additional RAM and... set up a replay feature. RAM? RAM sticks. And RAM, of course, that's just delicious. I essentially live off RAM what and flavor do you drink like? and... Shrimp. Shrimp mass race. Ooh, shrimp, dude. You know what's really delicious? If you take shrimp, like, if you just take cheap shrimp instant noodles, you add some fresh shrimp, some crab meat, and, like, some, fre some fresh vegetables to the mix. You can buy the mixed vegetables at pretty much any supermarket, like, deep frozen. So you throw those in halfway through the process, like, usually you have to... Wait for it five to ten minutes to cook thoroughly, and then you can throw in the vegetables halfway, so they're still a bit crunchy, and shrimps and crabs as well, which then cook in the. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Now I want, now I want food, man, and I still got like a best of three after this best of three, so struggle. And if we look at the items, um. I don't know, Hestajo's build is actually, I think, a bit too greedy. Like, I think a Blink Dagger would have been important here over the Diffusal Blade. They I don't know, man, what do you think? And they're trying to find a kill. Yeah, it's, it's pretty greedy in my opinion as well. And yeah, this is just gonna be free road, it seems. Okay, Noya coming in. Might go for a snatch. Bubble Science Science Ultimate. Ultimate. And, dude, Spacey is such, playing such a good game here, dude. I mean, what a player, he, you see the he's thing, gonna, the thing about Spacey is he's just really disciplined. He knows his one task is if you see Void near any one of your teammates, you press R. That's his, That's all he needs to do to win the game. Press R. And he makes sure he can always press R and live to press R. And that's all he needs to do to win this game. And... Did you see what Spacey did there to the... Sven and is Sven, is Sven for Sven gonna drop? Ghost committed, he's going to get the kill. Seven 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 Sven already, man. is gonna get stunned Sven up well. and dead, dude. This is the almost Sven made already sure that DT. Sven followed him. Like, he went Spacey here. MVP, man. Spacey MVP. Look at, like, he went here, right? And then made, made sure that Sven just pushed him out here to make sure the fight goes on over here so no interruptions are possible and then they get free kills in return and then they can just cut this event after that because it's a solid that just committed a global and then you shared that for for free person free people i mean space is such a clear they're gonna get one set of racks here for sure warlock is gonna the very do least. anything i think they can so get passive, two if man. they hurry it up yeah, this is gonna be two sets of racks. I mean, Lifestealer got a Desolator, that with the Troll Warlord attack speed. 
Yeah, they're gonna get at least a melee range. Yeah, they, they can get two racks actually, but they see the invoker is gonna respawn in two seconds, and then they still have the chrono, which is yet to be used again. The silencer just have a beast of a game right now, Joe. I mean, he is definitely MVP. I mean, I'd love to give it to Life Stealer for playing freaking flawless, but Silence is the one who saves everyone's ass all the time. Already, you feel like three huge plays, and oh, Paranization, is it gonna save 747? Looks like it's, it's seven not gonna seven save dead. him, and he's gonna Master get two dead. kills. Lotus Orb, and oh, yeah, no mana stun coming in. Uh, the Aww. global silence again? Oh my god, dude. Space is just carrying this game single-handedly. Uh, Ace is gonna get wrecked. And uh, that's GG. Oh my god, dude. What oh. a game. What a play what from a game. Nova. I mean, this is just Space is saving everyone's ass over and over again. And the thing is, honestly, I think Danish Bears could have really easily won this game if it, if it like, was.